Today's topic is loneliness. I've been asked, Christy, what do you do? How do you, how do you control your loneliness or the feelings of loneliness? And, uh, you know, many of you may be under the impression that I don't suffer those things because I have been alone so long. But are we really ever alone? Or is that alone time a time to be all one? I get broken hearts. I get the pains of nobody being around that I can have a normal conversation with. I get all of these things. I feel the betrayals and loss of not having the family or things like that. However, isn't our family beyond blood? I know a lot of us have struggles with within our relationships or family dynamics and things like that. Uh, but isn't that for our greater growth? We're not alone. It's just that we have people in our lives that don't approve of us. And they want to show us they don't approve of us by, say, not being there if we don't meet their expectations. Okay? So that lonely time we can spend assessing these actual, what's really going on in these situations, and assess, do we even really want those types of people in our life anyways? Like many of us are afraid to be alone. People stay in relationships they shouldn't be in all the time. They keep family relationships, friendships, work partnership, you know, all of these things because they are afraid to be alone. And that's really sad. You know, we, we try to cover it up with pills. We cover it up with TV. We cover it up with computer stuff. We cover it up with gate. We cover it up all sorts of ways, drugs, whatever, whatever your choice is. But what if you chose to use that time to get to know yourself? So when you are, after you do process those actual real feelings, you come to a new conclusion with your new life, awaking from that slumber. Now, yeah, trust me, I have freaking felt lonely most of my life. But when I gave myself permission to feel pain and abandonment and betrayal and loss and things like that, I sat with it. Sometimes I stayed in bed for days, multiple times. And you know what? If I have to today, I will. Right? Because I'm honoring my body and the fact that I'm actually not alone. Well, just look at your body, for example. How many cells and organisms working together to make you breathe or blink your eyes or eliminate wastes or even tell you when you're hungry so that you don't die, <laughs> right? Okay, so <clears throat> we are not ever truly alone. But when you are alone, consider that a beautiful time, a wonderful, really healing, essential time in your life to discover who you really are. Do you know why so many people are walking around they don't know who they are? Because they're not alone. <laughs> they always have distractions. And what happens when you have all these distractions? Your life turns into, you know, a charade trying to live for other people. I got to keep the church happy. I got to keep my work people happy. I got to keep the family people happy. I got to keep the school people happy, the sports people happy, the volunteer people happy. You're running around living all these things that you're not really actually doing for you. And so then when something happens and you're not there, of course you feel alone, right? Because you spent all your time doing for other people. Why did I do that? Because <laughs> I was afraid to be alone. <sighs> so how do you get over those feelings of loneliness? You don't. You feel them. Then you realize you are not alone. And then you use that time to move forward and fulfill your dreams, your wishes, your goals whether 
you want to learn something new, you want to go to a new place, you want to, you know, I mean, a lot of, hey, I'll speak for myself. A lot of times when I was in that uh, mode, I was afraid to try new things. Why? Because I wasn't alone and all these people around would make fun of me, you know, because I'm not good enough. And, uh, oh, I really screwed up on that. So that kept me from trying new things and discovering my actual worth and latent talents that I had suppressed. Why did I suppress them? Because I had to look good for all the other people around that were making me not feel alone. <laughs> but think about it. How many of you are not alone, yet you feel alone? So which is worse? You want to live in a home with other people and be alone? Or do you want to walk out there and discover that which feeds your soul? This loneliness feeling is a feeling based on dependency and fears. What if I'm not good enough? What if nobody likes me? What if I die alone? Well, what if? I'm not saying don't ever feel alone. Oh, that's terrible. That's a dumb emotion, whatever. No, I'm, I'm saying feel it and give yourself all the time you need to feel it. Then get up and go outside and listen to the birds. Or pick up some yarn, start crocheting, or a piece of paper, or write your thoughts. Think about this. You think any, what's your favorite book? Or music, or whatever. How do you think they created that? In their sacred space, alone. Yeah, where they surrender to the magic of the universe working through them. That doesn't happen when you're hanging out in large groups, right? Yeah. So instead of feeding off of other people's energies in these large groups, we are learning our own. Mm-hmm. Some loneliness? It's really not so bad. So feel it. <sighs> And then go do something you love, okay? All right. Enjoy your alone, all one-ness. Have a good day.